Among the biggest revelations of the season so far is 22-year-old Stelmet Zielonogora forward Mateusz Ponitka, who is the Euroleague's youngest top 20 performer after eight Euroleague games and is the competition's shortest high-ranked rebounder. What he is not, however, is the youngest Ponitka on Zielonogora. That honour goes to his brother Marcel, who made his Euroleague debut last month at age 18, after they both joined Zielona Gora over the summer by happy coincidence rather than a deliberate plan. No, I don't think we, we, we planned it. It just uh, happened. It just, like you said, it just happened. I, I had the opportunity to come here to uh, be again a part of the Euroleague, so uh, that was a most important thing for me, the, the crucial you know, aspect. And um, he came back from the States for yeah. after, after one year, so we met here together and this season we'll be together. Older by four years, Mateus accepts that he might be a role model for Marcel and he's absolutely sure that his brother had little choice but to play basketball when they were growing up together. That should be, I think, a question for him, if, if I'm an example for him. But for sure, you know, we were playing uh, back in the days uh, in a backyard, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. And um, for sure, he was looking at me, you know, growing up in a basketball surrounding. So I think I might be. Yeah, sure, because uh, he's always been uh, my example. Uh, so uh, I could learn, uh, I could look at him. Uh, so I knew uh, I would play just like him, it was just a matter of the time. Despite their age differences, the brothers spent many hours playing basketball together during their childhood, and sibling rivalry surely was part of the game. On the backyard, yeah, we used to play um, pretty, pretty often, I think, uh, maybe even every day. But it was just, uh, mostly it was my idea to go and play because uh, <laughs> he was younger and he didn't want to go you know, I was lazy. up front. <laughs> to really be lazy. And we play a lot. I was always one. saying, come on, let's go. We're going to play one yeah. on one. But usually it ends up uh, as a fight, so yeah. mostly. Naturally, Mateus's age and size gave him unfair advantages in those backyard duels. So the brothers played with modified rules to make the games more competitive. There were special rules. Uh, I couldn't block, and um, most of the time I was supposed to play with the left hand. So it was like, you know, just to give him a little bit of uh, also chances. Uh, but, you know, mostly it was tie games because everybody wanted to shoot, you know, the last uh, shot, you know, a buzzer beater. So uh, it was different. Sometimes he won, sometimes I won, so that was nice. Mateus first played in the Euroleague as a teenager with a Seco Procom Gidinha three years ago. And Marcel recognizes that watching his brother's career take off gave him inspiration. Of course, I were motivated and I am motivated because um, the people uh, have compared me to, to him um, always. So it was uh, like a motivation for me. Uh, I try to beat him every day and I hope it. It will be one day, so... One day. One day, yeah. His older brother has certainly set a great example for Marcel to witness firsthand this season too. After eight Euroleague games, Mateus is the highest ranked player eligible for the Rising Star Trophy, ahead of Dario Saric of Anadolu FS Istanbul. Mateus is also ready with advice about the Euroleague for his younger brother at the start of his own career. I told him that you know here there is no you know there is no space for mistakes. Uh, if you made one mistake, the opponent uh, will make it you know will make you pay for that. So it's the highest level. You have to be ready for everything, and you know you have to work hard and uh, try to compete with everybody. <laughs>